is Chanel and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a fishtail braid tutorial and three easy ways to wear it. I have had so many people ask me every time I do a fishtail braid in some sort of fashion, they always ask me how I do it and I tell them it is so simple. I love it better than a normal braid. I do it all the time. And so I'm here to show you how to do it. It is so simple, I'm so excited. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I start with my hair straight for this video to see how I actually do this fishtail hair braid tutorial. And I'm just gonna brush it out and make sure there's no tangles. Yep, we got that done. So now I'm gonna part it to the side because I'm gonna do a side braid tutorial along with one of the easy ways to do this hair braid. Now I'm also gonna go ahead and separate my bangs from the braid so it can look all nice and clean. You can actually choose to um, not do our little wispies in the bangs and you can keep them straight, you can curl them. It's just whatever your preference is. So that's what I am doing right now, getting the bangs done. Um, just showing you how I separate it. You can just do it any way you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin that to the side and out of the way so I don't get it mixed in when I actually braid my hair. Okay, we're gonna part it in two pieces. Try and get it as even as possible, but you don't have to be perfect. So I actually start from the back side and I just kind of put my finger through uh, the amount of hair I want to use and I separate it from that piece and I bring it on over to the inside of the other piece. And how I actually remember to do it, I would keep on saying outer, inner, outer, inner. It's weird, it's so like outside and you bring it to the inside of the other side. And I just continue to do this, um, just kind of like, that's how I repeat it, just like remembering how to actually do it, especially without looking. Um, so yeah, I just kept on saying outer, inner, outer, inner. Now I just know how, to, know how to do it without even having to say that. But that's how I was able to acquire this braid. And I keep this really, really tight too, because it, and later on you're gonna loosen it up. I know it sounds weird, but yeah, tighten it up. It's when I like kind of squeeze it and pull it back, like just like that. And I just continue to do that all the way down. And now I'm gonna fast forward it, and y'all just enjoy some of the music. Okay, so now we're getting towards the very end. I leave about like an inch and a half, not braid it, so I can actually tie it, and we will be actually pulling it down a little bit further to loosen up the braid, but you could choose whatever hair tie you want. I didn't have a clear hair tie, but I had a black one, so whatever. And you can choose whatever hair tie you like, and yeah, I actually pull this down a little bit, just a little bit, not too much, because you don't want to accidentally undo everything. And then I just loosen up my braid, because I think it looks more unique and prettier that way. I don't know, you can leave it tight if you like, but I just prefer to loosen it up and give it a nice kind of, I don't know, hipster style feel, I guess you would say. And that's how you do your fishtail hair braid tutorial. Okay, next is the fishtail pigtail braids. And this was actually one of my other favorites. It's the same thing, but you're actually just gonna like split your hair in half, and then you're gonna half those other pieces. And then of course, I'm gonna also separate my bangs. And you can also choose to do this or not. You can have it straight, you can have it curly, you can have it any other way you like. This is just how I prefer to do it. Okay, now, so you have already your split half. Now you're gonna split the other side 
in two pieces as well. And I was trying to make sure to make it as even as possible because you don't want to look, make it look at all wonky. But it's also a great way for a braid to look super unique if it's not completely perfect. So I just do the same thing. I bring the outside part into the inside of the other side part and it's super easy. So just outer inner, like I said before, it's one of my favorite things to say when I do this hairdo because it's super easy to remember that way. So yeah, just outside, inside, outer, inner. And then we're just gonna fast forward through it and you're gonna see how my beautiful braid is on this one. So we're gonna do the same thing again, and we're just gonna leave about an inch and a half of hair left to tie up, and then of course, we are going to bring it down as well. And we're also gonna pull down that hair tie again. And then again, we're gonna loosen it up and give it that unique look that I love so much, and yeah. Okay, so I just did the same thing to the other side, and I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward to this part, because I'm pretty sure you got down what I was trying to tell you from before, just parting my hair to the side, and then parting it two parts, and then doing the same exact thing to the other side. So yes, we're tying the very end of it again and we're gonna pull it down and we are gonna loosen up that braid as well. And then of course we're gonna take out the little bobby pins out of our hair, we're gonna fix it. I think at one point I actually took my straightener and uh, fixed a little crease in it. And then there you go guys. Here's your fishtail pigtail braid tutorial. This is one of the easy ways of wearing it. I love doing this, I feel like a cute hipster nerd and I love it and yeah okay guys so the third easy way to wear a fishtail braid is the side bangs fishtail braid it's one of my other favorite ones to do um, it just kind of makes it a variety of something else different to your hair, especially when you want it down. I think this is a cute look to wear on a daily basis, especially even for the winter. I feel like it's super cute and fashionable, actually all year round. And yeah, so here we go. We're gonna part the bang that we want to use into braid. And I feel like I did a little bit bigger than normal, um, only because um, when you do do this, it becomes super small whenever you actually braid it. So we're just gonna part it. And I know my bang is actually like two different sizes, but that's actually okay. It really doesn't matter since you're like switching off with different parts of the hair, so it ends up evening out anyways. So yes, I'm gonna take the outside part again and we're gonna bring it to the inside of the other side. So outer inner guys, remember that outer inner. We're gonna do it probably, mm, I'm gonna say halfway down and uh, yeah, so enjoy watching this part of me braiding it some more. And I know that this is probably a little bit harder to do since it is smaller, so it's hard to um, make sure you don't grab any other pieces of hair. And this one you have to make super tight um, because it will look weird if you don't. I don't know. It just always looks weird whenever I try to do it loosely. So whatever you do, you do it tight and then you're gonna loosen it up afterwards.
Okay, so now that we're about, I guess a little bit more than halfway uh, to the hair, we are going to grab a bobby pin and we're gonna go ahead and put it right below where we had ended the braid. And, and then we're just gonna go ahead and figure out what area we're gonna pin it at. And then we're just gonna put it up. And I kind of pushed the braid up into the hair to make it kind of look like, you know how you have like one of those headbands and you want your hair to kind of pop out a little bit? That's what I was kind of doing with this side of my hair. And I go all the way, probably about to, not exactly in the middle of my head, but like really close to it. And I'm just gonna pin it right there. And I actually moved some of the hair out of the way to um, hide the bobby pin whenever I am done pinning it. So that's how I do my side bangs fishtail braid. And that's my third easy way of wearing it. It's one of my favorite ones. I love it. It looks so cute. Very, very hippie-like. And I love it, especially with long hair. So there you go, guys. Okay guys, that was my fishtail braid tutorial and three easy ways to wear it. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and if it was helpful. And also comment down below on which ones you like the best. And please tag me in your photos if you do any of these hairdos. I would be so happy to see it. And that is all for now guys. I'm Mary Chanel. See you next time.